Hello and welcome to the channel Connection Creative Gaming and More. Today we are going to upgrade the RAM memory for a HP ProBook 6560B. Um, they come as 4 gigabytes by default from the factory, usually, but we are going to upgrade it to 16 gigabytes. So the memory can type is um, DDR3, PC3, 10600 SD RAM. 1,333 MHz is a so dim and supports dual channel memory and is up to 16 gigabytes in two uh, 8 gigabyte slots. I already checked the manufacturer's web website and that's what they were saying that it supports up to 16 gigabytes. So we are going to put it to the maximum. This is pretty easy, really. Uh, you just take the the laptop. This is a professional line. You just take the laptop, just turn it sideways, upside down, I mean, and there is a latch that you have to really uh, hold to the right, so it releases the panel to access the memory, the, uh, the motherboard. So you will see your old memory module installed in there, just release it. comes out of on a, in a 45 um, degree angle and I'm going to show you the memory which I bought that's a crucial brand it's pretty good and I have seen that this uh, kind of memory is also used in on Macs so yeah it has to be the same size and it has to be taken the two possible holes you know so you take out your memory and you can put the other, the other one back where it was, the, the original package, okay, it's right there. So you have to install them in a 45 degree angle. This is the 240 pin, it supports uh, 1.35 volts up to 1.5. So you have to install them to align the, the notch right there. So make sure it goes all the way in. The two little notches have to match the gap. If it doesn't match with that, even when it's not properly seated. Take the other one all the way, and this is not properly seated. Let me see. Let's release it and let's try again. That's good. Now, go back to closing the panel, make sure your notches are perfectly aligned. Make sure there aren't any gaps between this this thing right there. It seems like straight. So just close your uh, panel. That's easy. You need any screwdrivers. There are no screws for this. Turn around your your laptop. I've seen some computers that say uh, your memory has changed on the post, but I don't think this one will say anything. So I'm gonna put my password. We just gotta wait for the for Windows uh, welcome. Now, I'm gonna show you my, my paper. And we are going to click on the Windows logo, 
right? And then you go to says File Explorer. And you will be right clicking this PC properties and just verify that this thing here says 16. I'm gonna show you closer. Right there. So but it, that confirms that the memory is properly seated. So thanks a lot for watching and goodbye.